Traveling is something that I love. I like a lot to explore new places uh, for me, so places that uh, I've never been to. Exploring uh, new worlds is also something that I do in my profession, and this is actually wonderful. My name is uh, Francesco Castellini. I'm Italian, I'm 32 years old, and I work as a flight dynamics engineer at the European Space Operations Center in uh, Darmstadt. I came to Germany in April of 2012. There was this job opportunity here, working with real space missions. I like a lot how the organization is done, of course, it's German efficiency. When I was a kid, I was looking at the old videos from the Apollo era and whatever came after that, so I was fascinated by the fancy space stuff. Basically, we are navigators or pilots, if you want, of the scientific satellites of ESA. We have to deal with all the calculations that are necessary in order to understand where our spacecraft is, where it's going to go, and we have to compute how to activate the thrusters to make sure that the spacecraft does what the scientists want. Interplanetary missions, science missions are all one of a sort. So there is no mission that is equal to the next, which means that our job is never really boring. It's a bit weird to say, but I always like numbers. Mathematics is true, and then physics and engineering are uh, less true than mathematics, but uh, still numbers are... Uh, I mean, for me, it's satisfactory that uh, when numbers go to their place. At the moment, I'm working mainly on Rosetta. It's a mission to a comet 67B Churium of Gerasimenko, very complicated name. We are flying close to this small body. For us, the most exciting mission ever, because it's never been done, and flight dynamics is really at the center of it. For me, personally, the most interesting part of our work for Rosetta, to sit in front of these new images, and uh, try to figure out how to navigate. Working for missions as exciting as Rosetta, for example, is something that in Europe we can do only here in Nizoc. It's an extraordinary place, quite unique. The level of uh, flight dynamics expertise that uh, is needed and is represented is amazing here. My next mission will be ExoMars. It's a scientific satellite going to Mars, doing landing on Mars. It's the first time that I work on a Mars mission. Yeah, I'm really looking forward. It's my next big challenge in my career. <laughs>